Now we're ready to add our melody track. So let's go up to the sound browser in the top left, the big square with the small squares on either side. And we want to choose Smart Piano. And then we're just going to go back into our tracks view, the bricks in the top left. And we want to select the headphones for that lowest piano track where we're going to play in our melody. So we're going to tap on those headphones to turn them yellow and all of our other music will turn grey and our metronome should be on, our metronome should be blue so that we're going to hear our click track, okay? So with this piano track selected, go up to the small keyboard in the top left and tap on that to take us back to our keyboard. Now we need the actual piano keyboard view now to play our melody. So along in the middle right hand side, you can see a red chord strip button. If you tap on that, it will open up your piano keyboard view. Now at the moment, the bottom left hand key of the keyboard is C2. Now we want our melody to sound high pitched so that we hear it over the top of the chords and the bass. So we're going to raise the pitch of the keyboard notes by tapping here on this arrow. So you've got two arrows with a zero in between them. If you tap on the right hand arrow, that will change to plus one. And now you should have C3 at the left and C4 about halfway along the keyboard. If you can see C3, C4 and C5, then your keys are set on a smaller size. So we'll change that to make it easier for you to play. So you're going to tap the small keyboard above the right hand end of the keyboard. And here, mine is set on the biggest key size. There are smaller options available. So you want yours to be set on the left hand side on the biggest key size, okay? And then if you tap to come out of that menu, you should now find that you've got C3 and C4. Now we're going to practice the melody and learn the melody before we record it. So I recommend that you try, first of all, just finding the right notes with your individual fingers. We don't want to play using one finger jumping from key to key. We want to start with your thumb playing the G, which is between C3 and C4. Then your index finger on the A, your middle finger on the B, your ring finger on C4, and your pinky on D. So thumb, index, middle, ring, pinky. And going down the way, same thing, pinky, ring, middle, index, thumb, okay? So once you've found those notes with the right fingers, you should practice the melody in small chunks. So the first line of the melody, if you just take the very first bar, which is those first four notes, starting with your middle finger, is B, B, C, D. Practice that chunk until you're confident on B, B, C, D. And then take the next four notes, D, C, B, A. So that's starting with your pinky on the D. And then join those two chunks together. B, B, C, D, D, C, B, A. Okay, then take the next four notes, the G, G, A, B, starting with your thumb. Okay, try that a few times. G, G, A, B. And then play that chunk and add onto the end of it the B, A, A, and those two A's come really close together. B, A, A, so the chunks together sounds like this. G, G, A, B, B, A, A. Okay, 
When you're comfortable with those two halves of line one, try the whole line. B, B, C, D, D, C, B, A, G, G, A, B, B, A, A. Okay, so once you can play line one, if you look at line two, you'll notice that the only difference is the last three notes. So you can practice the second half of the line, starting with your thumb on G, playing G, G, A, B, A, G, G. Okay, and then once you've done that, you're ready to try the whole melody. So I'll play it all through for you with the click track so that you can hear that it's fitting in with the beat. Okay. B, B, C, D, D, C, B, A, G, G, A, B, B, A, A. B, B, C, D, D, C, B, A, G, G, A, B, A, G, G. Okay, so once you can confidently play the whole melody along to the click track, you're ready to record and I'll show you how to do that in the next video.